أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters in Islam, brothers and sisters in humanity السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace and blessings of Allah be with all of you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Hashr verse number 19 وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهُ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ and do not be like those who forgot Allah, and Allah causes them to forget themselves. They are the wicked ones and the rebellious ones. Our scholars of Tafsir mention various interpretation of this Quranic verse. The first inter- interpretation is that this Quranic verse simply means and do not be like those who forget to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes them to forget themselves meaning that they forget uh, to embrace righteousness and be a part of righteousness and do that which is pleasing to the Creator God Almighty and they are considered to be the wicked ones and the other interpretation of the of this Quranic verse is that do not be like those who forget the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah causes them because of them forgetting to be mindful of Allah through dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes them to forget themselves and to forgetting the purpose of their creation and doing that which will help them and aid them on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah the, te- the lessons that we learn and the teachings from this Quranic verse is quite explicit and clear. That if we forget our Creator God Almighty, we will forget about our divine and honorable purpose of creation. For God Almighty have created us and honored us and placed us here on the face of this earth to worship Him and to serve Him and to be mindful of Him and glorify Him while serving His creation and while live in a life that is harmonious, peaceful, and pleasant with the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we forget our purpose of life and we forget to obey Allah, we forget to be mindful of Him, we forget to remember Him, then we will just spend days of our lives and our days will not be meaningful. We will engage in spending the time that Allah has allocated for us um, and then what will happen is that you will not grasp anything positive out of that time that will help you and aid you on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Let us remember the statement of Umar ibn Khattab when he said very clearly, حَاسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ مَا أَن تُحَاسَبُوا وَوَزِنُوا قَبْلَ مَا أَن تُوزَنُوا He says, call yourself to account before you are called to account and weigh your actions before your actions are weighed or scaled on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah. May Allah forgive us, guide us, and protect us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace be with all of you.